The series of Star Trek Picard is heating up for everyone, and the previews of this week's episode 8 seem to suggest that things are going to get even crazier. What you are about to experience will drive you mad. We face a powerful enemy. What is happening on this cube? Something far worse is coming. Do you believe in hell? Neither did I until I saw it. Unless we act quickly. Hell will come again. Hey everyone, my name is Commander Bree and welcome to Trek Central. Today we're taking a look at the previews for the next episode of Star Trek Picard, Episode 8, titled Broken Pieces. This episode sees us continue the story where Episode 7 left off as we head towards what appears to be a two-part season finale for the series of Picard. As a reminder, today's video will contain spoilers for Episode 8 as we break down the preview and exclusive clip from the Ready Room. You've been warned! If you're new around here, then make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all our Star Trek Picard videos. Now let's jump into this. First we'll jump into the global preview of Episode 8, then after that we'll discuss the exclusive Ready Room clip and see how they both relate and what they could mean for the upcoming episode and for our heroes. If you want to watch the clips, we'll make sure to leave some links down below to where you can watch them globally. The official episode synopsis reads as this. When devastating truths behind the Mars attack are revealed, Picard realizes just how far many will go to preserve the secrets stretching back generations. All while La Serena's crew grapples with secrets and revelations of their own. Nerissa directs her guards to capture Elnor, setting off an unexpected chain of events on the Borg cube. The first opening shot of the preview trailer shows us Romulans surrounding the circular object that has been seen in multiple trailers from Star Trek Picard. It was also seen in Jurati and Commodore O's mind meld last week. Take note, it appears Commodore O might be in this scene as she can be seen in a similar outfit to which she appears in her own mind meld. Many of us here at Trek Central have been theorizing on what this object represents. At the moment, I think it's clear that this object is connected to the Jat Bosch somehow, either that or synthetic life, as the next flash scene suggests. While this scene plays, a voiceover saying the following can be heard. What you are about to experience will drive you mad. The voiceover covers a few flashes of what looks like Romulans going mad with something as synthetic lifeform faces appear. The same scenes from Commodore O's mind melt appear, with Romulans ripping their own faces apart and also a planet exploding. Hopefully episode 8 will explain more of this, as I know many of us are dying to know more about what is happening here. Like, please, tell us more, please. The next scene is commented over by Picard as he says the following. We face a powerful enemy. Romulans can also be seen storming a room with Elnor inside. This actually connects with the exclusive clip from the Ready Room, so we'll talk more in detail about that in the next segment. Finally, Seven of Nine is back. Again connected with the Elnor scene, she asks, What is happening on this Borg cube? Now Seven is out of the loop when it comes to the Borg cube, otherwise known as the artifact. Given Hugh's almost rebellion before he died, Nerissa is obviously not happy and has locked down the cube most likely. How Seven gets aboard the cube is unknown, but this links to Elnor activating the Fenris Ranger SOS device. Season 1 showrunner Michael Shaben actually mentioned that the Fenris Ranger SOS device belonged to Hugh. So it suggests that Seven of Nine knows who Hugh is. I wonder how she will deal with his death and the aftermath that follows. Following Seven's sentence, a scene of what appears to be the Borg cube repairing itself can be shown. If you've been a fan of Star Trek for a while now and have watched episodes related to the Borg, then you would know that the Borg cube and other technologies possess regenerative abilities, so the cube can essentially repair itself. As Hugh mentioned, he was going to activate the cube before his death. I'm going to speculate that Seven of Nine and Elnor finished the job. Elnor required an XB to activate the cube, but with Seven's arrival, the need is no longer there as she is a former drone herself. A shot of Nerissa and her Romulan lieutenant appears as she says the following line. Something far worse is coming. Now what she's referring to could be the Borg cube's activation, as the next scene shows the cube repaired. Very repaired. As more Romulan starships appear outside of it. Maybe they're preparing to do combat with it. I don't know. The Borg cube in its repaired state looks very interesting. For a moment, I thought this could have been a different one, but I think that's unlikely. Back on La Serena, Rios is searching for something while Gerardi and Picard speak to each other. Gerardi has recovered from her self-induced coma, it seems, most likely in time with Picard coming back on board. 
She asks Picard, Do you believe in hell? Followed by, Neither did I, till I saw it. Now the scenes here go rather fast, so I'll slow it down here for all of you as we discuss. Following Gerardi's first line, a split flash on screen of Seven appears to show she might be activating the Borg cube. Then we see XBs going mental over the floor of the cube. I can't make it out here, but either they are attacking someone on the floor, or they're trying to escape. If I had to speculate, I'd like to put my odds on it being Nerissa, who's finally getting what she deserves. Here's hoping. Rios and Rafi can be seen trying to get through the force field that has appeared on the bridge of La Serena. How this force field got here is unknown, but it suggests the crew are locked off from the main controls of the starship. I imagine this is going to make Rios kind of mad, but the question is who's taking control? Maybe Gerardi? As Gerardi says, unless we act quickly, scenes of Romulan starships firing at another ship can be seen, all while the ominous Borg cube sits in the background. Most likely, this is Nerissa's small fleet that is chasing something. When we see La Serena, it appears to be in some sort of slipstream of a very bright object. Honestly, the preview gets kind of mental at this point, and it's very hard to keep track. Jean-Luc Picard finishes off the sentence by saying, Hell will come again. More quick scenes appear, showing Nerissa gunning down XBs on board the cube, followed by a flyby of a star, and finally a very spooky scene of Seven of Nine apparently possessed by something. Let's discuss this scene quickly as it's certainly lighting up a lot of discussion online at the moment, myself included. So Seven of Nine arrives on board the cube responding to the Fenris Ranger SOS signal. Her arrival most likely prompts Elnor to ask her to activate the Borg cube, as that was what Hugh's dying wish was, essentially. Seven would understand this and go on to do so, as we can see in the trailer. But where it gets really interesting is a still that shows Seven of Nine with weird eyes and also what appears to be Borg cube tubes in the background. Those of us who have watched Star Trek Voyager or the first Contact movie, which features the Borg Queen, will know that when she usually appeared, she had weird long cables that followed her around to help her out. Here in this still, we see Seven of Nine with those same cables leading many of us to theorize online that she's going to become the next Borg Queen or at least the queen of the ex-Borg drones on Hugh's cube. Some might think it's a little far-fetched, but I do think it's still great speculation on what might happen. Alright, with the preview clip out of the way, let's go on to the exclusive clip from the Ready Room. As a reminder, this does contain spoilers for Episode 8. This clip opens with Elnor still on board the Borg cube, apparently sneaking about, not doing much else. As he makes his way through a room, Romulans throw in a flashbang, which, as the name suggests, makes it hard for Elnor to see and disorients him. An interesting detail is that he does drop the Fenris Ranger SOS device on the floor. Seizing the opportunity at hand, Romulans storm the room in an attempt to incapacitate Elnor, but this does not go very well as the initial wave do get taken out by him, rather brutally as we've come to expect. In this fight, Elnor does actually lose his sword as he drops it, resulting in him and the Romulans using hand-to-hand -hand combat. He eventually is on the ground thanks to another move, which the Romulans take advantage of. Thankfully for Elnor, Seven of Nine comes in to save the day with her disruptor rifles gunning down the Romulans who stand in her way. I do love the awe and shock factor on Elnor's face when he sees Seven of Nine standing above him. But I mean, realistically, that would be anyone's face in that scenario, including ours. As Seven walks in looking confused at the surroundings and what's happening, her first question is where's Hugh? As it was Hugh's SOS device that Elnor activated. Therefore, Seven was expecting to find him rather than Elnor, which must be slightly confusing for her. Adding to our list of memorable hugs in Star Trek Picard, Elnor embraces Seven as he is obviously thankful to see that she has arrived to save the day. Now, Seven is kind of surprised by this and reassures Elnor that she is here for him, a nice little scene that plays out really well. That's it for the Ready Room exclusive clip. I expect it will take place towards the end of the episode, as Seven comes in to save the day while Elnor is trying to survive on the Borg cube. What happens next is kind of shown in the preview clip as we discussed earlier in this video. Alright, and that's it from us here on Trek Central for today. Remember you can share your thoughts and opinions on what we've discussed today via the video comment section below. It would be super cool if you could share the craziest theories for what you think will happen in episode 8. If you want to keep up to date with all things Star Trek news, lore, and more, then make sure to subscribe to us here on Trek Central on YouTube. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates, visit our website, or even join our brand new community Discord server. For now, I've been Commander Bree, and thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.